What's up, people? How is everybody? Welcome back to our talk. We got uh, two things going on. We have the uh, one camera here and another camera over here. Got to just adjust these things a little bit on the light side. Light's a little hot. Let's put those down a little bit. What's up, Jerry? Welcome to today's art talk. Don, good to see you. We got a new, a new format and a new, uh, a few new things going on that make uh, things a little bit more challenging as far as time-wise. What's up, Chris? Secret Car Club events. Welcome back to Art Talk. So let uh, let me get into some of the changes that we'll be having. Uh, number one is I have a little juice and a little little Abigail cup. Uh, these were yogurt cups that we got at the store, and we turned them into juice cups for the for our granddaughter, which worked out pretty well. A little bit of guava juice, people. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I always had an affinity for guava juice ever since I went to Hawaii when I was a kid. Uh, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Uh, happy to be back. So what we're going to be doing is uh, there's just way too much uh, stuff going on. And a lot, of, a lot of the things that I'm trying to get across to you guys um, is about focus. And it's important that I uh, don't just tell you guys to focus. I got to focus myself. I got to make sure that the things that I'm doing are getting done in a proper sort of way, effective sort of way, and that I'm not uh, diversifying myself too much. Uh, thus delaying some of the things that I want to manifest uh, in the same way that you guys do. So it's important that we uh, uh, that we focus. So our talk is going to be on Mondays from now on. Uh, we also have, um, we were going to do one vlog a week, and we're actually going to be upping the vlogs a bit more, uh, but different kinds of stuff. We're even going to do some coloring vlogs so that we can show you guys some techniques. If any of you have... Uh, have purchased uh, our coloring books through Fireball Publishing, uh, uh, it might help to give you some techniques and tips and tricks, even through coloring. Uh, because that kind of stuff, when, you, when you're thinking about, uh, and you're in that creative mode, and you're thinking about stuff, then you're in the present, and that's where we want you to be. That's where problems get solved. That's where solutions uh, bubble up from and percolate. And, uh, and we get a chance to... Um, uh, improve our lives and and uh, make our lives better, uh, make this experience that we call life a better thing. Good morning, Craig Casey. Thanks for joining us today on Art Talk. Uh, the other thing that we're going to stop doing is we're going to stop numbering Art Talks because it doesn't really matter how many we do. Uh, uh, what matters is that we get these things out, and, um, and since we're going to do them once a week, it's not necessarily important to me that it's this is number 325 or 210 or 4. You know, it doesn't matter to me. So, um, uh, the vlogs, uh, that's a little bit different. The little more production uh, happens in those episodes. It's easier to search those things. Uh, these uh, art talks are really more, although they do get posted on, on uh, YouTube, uh, these are things that are, are live and that we want to give you guys so that you can uh, uh, enhance your experience. Okay, so uh, that's kind of uh, some of the changes that we're going to be doing. The book of the day is Porsche, uh, uh, not backwards necessarily. Yep. Uh, but if you're new to Art Talk, my company is Fireball Publishing. Uh, I also am a concept artist in the film industry, so I work on movies, lots and lots of them. Not at the moment, because I think the only production that's up right now is Batman in uh, Europe and The Mandalorian just started up again, season three. Season two is in the can, um, and uh, so season three is working on it. But uh, uh, coloring books is what we focus on. This is Porsche's. You can get all of our books on Amazon. And this one has a maze, has a black forest maze, which looks easy, but it's not. Look at all those trees. You gotta navigate through all the trees and things like that and uh, avoid some of the the pitfalls that exist in the black forest. I know there's a few. How about this one? How about a, uh, a Panamera cop car? Yep. Uh, so interestingly enough, I get a lot of comments on Amazon, on Facebook, a lot of things. And they're always interesting. I always find them fascinating. The negative ones as well as the positive ones. The positive ones I always appreciate because it's nice. And people are having a good time as they color. Uh, but every now and then, I get a, a negative comment. And I got one recently. I, it did bother me a little bit. But it's it's clear that people sometimes who buy these books are, uh, are looking at them like, uh, this is for me. 
And uh, it, as an example, if uh, it, well, this wasn't the, the, the book that they were focused on, but let's say you bought a Mustang book and you expected them to be exact Mustangs, you know, I mean, uh, uh, the exact date and, and have them be uh, correct in every respect. Uh, that's not what our books are. And uh, Fireball coloring books are more creative than that. And uh, Ford just came out with a, a Ford coloring book. <laughs> Big surprise. Yeah, uh, their own coloring book. Uh, it's double the price of ours, same amount of pages, but uh, I'm not trying to promote their book, but uh, if you buy one of their books and you like that uh, kind of thing, expect to get Fords, expect to get Mustangs exactly the way they look. And if you want to color those things, that's great. But, you know, if you grab one of our books and then people bitch about the fact that the, the taillights are not exactly perfect or uh, or the, the tires are too fat on the back or things like that. Uh, these books are for kids primarily, people. Uh, they're for kids. And uh, um, if you buy them for yourself, then just look at it from a kid's perspective. You know, just in, enjoy yourself. Uh, so, but this comment that they left wasn't like a small thing. It was like, um, I should be investigated for fraud, you know, because I didn't, uh, I wasn't correct on the, on the sketches. <laughs> so, uh, you know, people are affected by a variety of things. And I expect to get a call from the, I don't know, the NSA, the um, uh, Homeland Security, uh, Amazon police for uh, not making my drawings color uh, uh, correct in the, in respect to that. Um, I hope not. I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't plan on going to, j to the Amazon jail anytime soon. Yep. Let me adjust this a little bit more here. Okay, good. Uh, so book of the day there. Uh, we are going to do some coloring vlogs. Uh, the, the, we have a vlog that's going up tomorrow on the 2020 uh, Mazda Miata. So look for that. Uh, that'll be up on our YouTube channel and uh, on Facebook, everywhere else. Uh, Kathy and I are going to go on a hike today. We're we're committing this week that every day we're gonna we're gonna take a hike. We're gonna get outside. The hiking trails in Malibu, uh, primarily most of them are open now. Beaches are gonna be open on the fifteenth. I think uh, the rule. I've heard this. I don't know what the truth is, and and you you don't want to you don't want to take anything on face value. You want to take everything with a grain of salt because the truth is uh, uh, there is no truth uh, uh, verbatim. Every state is different. Every situation is different. So. Investigate for yourself uh, as to what you feel, and if you feel that wearing a mask makes you feel more comfortable, then wear a mask. If you feel that you know you don't give a shit and you want to do what you want to do, uh, it's a free country. You should be able to, to do these things, and I don't think that uh, that you run the risk of spreading something horrid if you keep your distance and you go on a hike and you go places where no people are. You know you should be fine. Guava juice, get some, and. Uh, so hopefully those beaches will be open soon. I picked up a few cars over the weekend. Uh, a couple of things. This is from uh, Matchbox. That's a pretty nice, uh, nice looking uh, police car. It says Matchbox Police on the side. Uh, they're doing really, a really good job because a lot of these cars now are uh, digitally processed, uh, and a lot of them are really heavy now. Now this is part of the uh, Japanese series that came out. I, I don't think that you can kind of focus on it. It's I don't know why it's not focusing. Anyway. So that's, uh, that's, I forget what this is. This is a Hot Wheels, but it's uh, 68 Mazda Cosmo. Pretty nice. And then, of course, you know, they're doing some great jobs with the, some of the new movie cars. Uh, these are very heavy. Some of these are extremely heavy uh, compared to most Hot Wheels because they have metal bottoms as opposed to the plastic bottoms. And then, of course, they, they charge you more for the, what used to be the normal car. I just thought this was kind of cute. Uh, that's kind of a Jetsons y uh, car that came out. So I picked that one up. All of these cars are going to the the Murphy Museum. So you'll see them on display once the Murphy opens again. And then this one, along with the, the Mazda Cosmo, this is a uh, Nissan Silvia. It doesn't give the date on the car, but uh, if you remember uh, what the Silvia looks like, pretty nice. And then the last one, of course, and this is really heavy. I'm surprised how heavy this is, but it's almost a chrome version of the uh, Back to the Future DeLorean. Uh, quite nice. Uh, great detail, you know. So all those are going up. Uh, you know we have we have the full size cars and those are great, and some of some of you can can uh, you know remember what it's like to climb in some of those cars, but uh, some of these these Hot Wheels and Matchbox and Dinkies I want you to be able to get close and check those things out. So those are going up. So let's talk today uh, since this is our talk. Uh, I do a little bit of an intro. I hope you guys don't mind just giving an update on some of the things that are coming. Uh, but today's subject is uh, talking about uh, changing uh, limiting beliefs and. I would not have the things in my life that I currently do, that I'm blessed to be able to do, if I had limiting beliefs in those areas. Now, not to say that I don't have limiting beliefs. Um, 
uh, it's actually easy to identify where a limiting belief is. Not easy to identify the limiting belief itself, but easy to find out where one is where you're not manifesting. Uh, where you're not, uh, maybe you're financially challenged, maybe you are uh, challenged creatively, uh, maybe you uh, are, are, are um, not trusting people, uh, maybe your, your careers are not taking off the way you want them to, uh, maybe you're, you know, there's a whole host of, of things that maybe are not working as effective as you would like them to work. And uh, generally speaking, they are a result of either limiting beliefs or an unlimited belief. And an unlimited belief results, uh, manifests in unlimited situations. So where you have a tremendous amount of creativity, you have a tremendous amount of experience uh, in doing certain things. Now, in my world, and the world of cars, and car design, I, I have a, a very severe uh, unlimited belief. You know, I, I believe that uh, I love uh, driving incredible cars. I don't necessarily need to own them all. and. I've experienced that, and, and ownership is certainly good for some people. You feel proud that you own a certain car. But, but for me, the experience of driving uh, and, and, and noticing the difference between how a Ferrari, a 308 GTS feels compared to a, a classic Packard, uh, those experiences I thrive on. I, I, I really enjoy that type of experience, especially driving in a place that's beautiful, and I get to do that by living here in Malibu, which is where we film Art Talk from. So uh, in, in the areas where you are uh, unlimited and you have an abundance of stuff, maybe you have an abundance of family uh, that loves you and you get to hang out with them, you have an abundance of friends, you have abundance of, of uh, 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 you know, love for cooking or, you know, whatever it is that you really enjoy. Let me move down here. Gelman, good morning. Lisa Costa, good morning. Uh, Harry Matthews, uh, Jim Aliseo, hope I said that. Scott Desporo, what's up? Tell them to get a life. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, you know what it is when, when, you, when someone confronts you and you don't control yourself and you can re-confront them, you know what happens. It's the, it's the whole thing about you throw a gumball, uh, someone throws a rock, uh, then you throw a knife and then they throw a gun and then you throw a nuclear bomb and then pretty soon the whole world blows up. This is the kind of stuff. So we, we want to elevate ourselves and uh, um, get to the point where we're not reacting to the, the things that people are doing. And that's part of... Uh, the, the limiting beliefs that we have, and, and as part of the challenges that we go through on a day-to-day -day basis, is that when things aren't working, we tend to try to fix them on the outside. We tend to try to, well, if I just put that thing on and put it over here, or if I got that person to shut up, or if I got that person to talk, or if I got my wife to listen, or if I got my husband to, to stop, you know, picking his nose. You know, whatever, whatever it is that, that we try to fix on the outside, uh, we're going to continue to try and fix that, and, and that's what fixers do. And, you know, when people say, well, I'm a fixer, and, and the truth is we, we all are that. We all um, are, are doing our best to try and make our lives worth living, uh, 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 joyful, and, uh, and a happy life. You're drawing a great, and you should be, ex uh, I appreciate that, Scott. I know that. I, you know, I, I feel very confident in my, in my drawings. I've been doing it for 40 years, you know, so I, I don't have any, any issues with that. Someone could come up and tell me the sky is, is uh is purple and uh, like it's one of those things like they're a little kid they don't know any better, so uh, those things don't affect me. I, my my the reason I brought her up was more of the fact that uh, an interesting example of that you get what you give. So you know when you when you put negativity out into the world, uh, yes they are crazy people, Scott. Uh, absolutely, um, and uh, we're not going to get rid of these people. We're not going to fix these people. We're not going to uh, insult them into. Um, uh, some kind of awareness uh, so their life gets better. Uh, you don't inspire people by making them wrong. You inspire them by you doing your thing. You got to do your thing. So uh, changing our limited beliefs, um, here's a good example that I was, I was given many years ago, is that if you have a cup of coffee and uh, you want that coffee to be uh, clear water, uh, then you have to start dropping uh, uh, drops of clear water in the coffee. And those, each one of those drops is a thought or an affirmation. And every time you drop one in, uh, subtly over time, that coffee is going to become clear over a long period of time. And that's the way affirmations work. So uh, you, can, you can say affirmations all week long and, and maybe all month long and not necessarily see much of a difference. Uh, but over time, uh, over a period of a year, over a period of, you know, it's like, like kids growing up, 
you know, they don't look the same when they're 14 as when they did when they were six. Uh, but that took look, took a long time for that to occur, that change to occur. And the same thing goes with our habits is that we, we have certain habits. We keep repeating those habits and wondering why things are not working. Uh, we try to change them. Uh, we try to change them on the outside, yet we're not changing what's going on on the inside. We're not changing our affirmations and our, our thought process uh, to affect that. Uh, we're not adding clear water into the murkiness, right? Coffee's not necessarily the best uh, example because I like coffee. I don't want to change my coffee to clear water. So let's talk about muddy water. Okay, so affirmations, repetition is key. Repetition is key when you want to change something. So Number one is that you have to identify what's not working for you. Uh, you, don't have, you don't have enough friends. Uh, you have trouble with your family. You don't have enough money. You uh, uh, are, are overweight. You know, whatever it is, the challenge that you have. And I want you guys to spend this week. That's why we're doing our talk once a week now, is that I want you guys to really spend time to focus on, on one, the one subject that we cover here. Uh, for this thing because I want you guys to be creatively strong. I want you guys to come out of this whole virus uh, nonsense with a, a sense of purpose and a sense of drive and a sense of motivation so that you can uh, shift into second gear and really take off so that that when all of all of a sudden you know the beaches are open you can get physical and you can you can uh, you can start to work out in the trails and stuff uh, that maybe you go back to your job and you do your job in a different way than you used to and because you appreciate it more you're a little bit more um, uh, maybe a lot more confident in it or or you have more gratitude about uh, about being able to do it because you haven't been able to so whatever it is that you you want to improve in your life you know just uh, one at a time one at a time don't try to improve too many things at once focus on something that I want to lose some weight or I want to gain some weight I, I want to uh, I'll learn how to eat better I want to um, uh, increase my uh, my financial stability you know whatever it is that you want to focus on focus on one this week and, and use affirmations uh, to be able to uh, um, to uh, to focus and use visualization and use all the techniques that we talk about here on our talk so that you can move towards that goal and you can begin to drop crystal clear water into the murkiness of the things that are not working okay and repetition is the only way you're going to be able to do that because that's what got you into this boat in the first place the reason that you're overweight is that you uh, you started adding donuts in to where there should be broccoli you know, whatever it is. Uh, and and that's tough. It's tough. But you're not, uh, that's why diets don't work. Diets don't work at all. And the reason diets don't work is because it's based on the idea of taking something away, something that you enjoy, and doing it for a short period of time, maybe a month or something like that. You may lose some weight, but in time, you're going to go right back to what you were doing before because your habits are getting you there. Uh, and we haven't changed our habits. Uh, we're talking about a, a, a creating a new lifestyle. That that that's the only way to be able to change is that you have to commit to a new lifestyle. But you can't commit to that lifestyle until you know what that lifestyle is. You got to really understand the uh, where you're where you're going. Yes, of course, <laughs> we love donuts. Uh, yes, it's just the world's worst food. You can make the coolest best donut on the planet. Uh, donut Derelicts has the tiger tail. If you haven't had that, amazing. I'm not saying don't eat donuts. I'm just saying, make, make sure it's not your stable all day long. Otherwise, you're gonna get, you're gonna turn into a big chunk, and and you're not gonna be able to walk down your stairs or up your stairs uh, or 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 anything else. You know, uh, the point is, uh, uh, moderation, uh, of course, is always key, and they they talk about that in in uh, Alcoholics Anonymous and 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 Narcoholics not and and Narcanacanacanolics Anonymous. You know, all of the anonymouses uh, talk about the same thing. It's about uh, the repetition. Of something negative, so the repetition of something that's hurting you, or the repetition of something that is uh, healing you. Okay, so uh, Dr. Schultz used to say, "Stop doing what's killing you and start doing what's healing you." Simple as that, right? Uh, you guys know what that is. You're adults. You know how to uh, uh, what to do to make a difference. The question is whether you will do it or not. And if you don't have the motivation, then you need to close your eyes. You need to meditate on accepting motivation accepting the things that you need to be able to move forward, okay? And uh, the affirmations, uh, visualization, meditation, all these things help to be able to uh, attract to yourself the motivation uh, in order to make those initial uh, first steps. If you don't know where to go, don't worry about it. If you're not sure what to do, 
to uh, increase your, your, your cash flow or to increase your, um, uh, your uh, losing weight. If you're not 100% sure, it's like, oh, should I walk? Should I ride my bike? Should I do this? You know, if you don't know what to do, then just close your eyes, take some time for yourself and try to ask for clarity. Ask for clarity and uh, uh, you'll get the answers that you're looking for. What's up, MC Campbell? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, Sam Smith, or is it Smythe? I don't know. The whys are always kind of tricky. Uh, John Burnside, thanks for joining us. Greg Gill, good morning, Mr. Gill. The lovely Dr. Fabulous. Uh, Mike Scott, Lisa, good morning. Michael Muggets, what's up, Michael? Good to see you, buddy. All right. Uh, so uh, repetition is key. We talked about that. Don't start if you don't intend to finish. Okay, look, um, you guys can come back to our talk and you can listen to this stuff you know, and you can say, yeah, that's great. I'm going to do it. You know, it's like going to church on Sunday and you, you connect with God and you connect with all those people and you wear your nice outfit and everything else. And then the, you fuck off for the rest of the week, right? You don't wear your outfit. You talk, you know, shit about people. Uh, you uh, complain about your situation and then you try to uh, go back on the next Sunday and like, oh no, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my thing. We can do the same thing here. You can do the same thing here. You guys can watch this and you can say, oh, this is great. I really like what he's saying and blah, blah, blah. Uh, and then the rest of the week, you can completely forget about it. You don't take any notes. You don't remember anything that we talked about. And then uh, the next week, we talk about uh, something else, right? Another thing, right? The question is, are you guys applying what it is I'm talking about? Are, are you taking the steps? Because if, uh, if you really want to improve your life, if you really want to make your situation better. It doesn't matter what's going on in the outside world. It doesn't matter whether you know uh, the beaches are open or closed or whether this or that. Uh, the universe is not limited to uh, this planet. Hello, right? Uh, uh, universal energy is everywhere and is affected by everyone individually. Now, uh, you know, I can't say that I'm not 100% affected or not uh, that I'm not affected by what's going on with the virus. Certainly, I want to go to the beach, but I'm not going to bitch about the fact that I can't go to the beach. You know, I'm, I'm going to focus on what it is that I can do. That if I can't go to the beach, I'm going to spend time uh, creating this, this new book, you know, this new coloring book that's coming out on June 1st, this Camaro book. We also have a heart ride book coming that I'm working on. Yeah, a few other things. So, um, uh, the importance is your attitude. It's it's your the vibration thought process. What are you putting out into the world? Uh, now, um, I have a lot of friends online that uh, when you see them at car shows, they're they're super cool, just really nice. Uh, yet uh, right now, I'm just watching, I'm observing, and many people are just posting posting away random stuff uh, um, that where they're uh, everything from attacking the government to attacking this person or to uh, saying this is wrong and, and we're in this flow and this is not helping. This is not helping. Now, sure, many of you may not like what our government's doing. I understand that. Many of you may support the government and think that uh, what they're doing is great and, and they're doing their best job. And the, the point is, this is a free country and this is where we're allowed to have the opinions that we want, to be able to, to think the process that we want. And I'm just trying to get you guys to understand that that if you if you can spend some time this week to raise your vibration and raise your focus and not look for where people are doing things wrong, but where are you doing things right? Where are, are other people, if you can, point out what it is that they're doing right? Even if they if they aren't doing anything that you can perceive, uh, people are doing something. You know, uh, there, yeah, there, there are people out in the world that are really trying to cause uh, difficulties and challenges. But if you consume yourself with those things, um, then you're you're going to support your your limiting beliefs. You're going to say, "I can't do this because that person isn't letting me," right? And that's really not the truth. That's really not the way it works. Um, if a parking garage was closed, you wouldn't go out of your way to try and park at it. You just say, oh, it's closed. Okay, I'll just go find another one, right? The beaches are closed, right? So what? So what? Uh, go do something else. If you can't go to this store, out to this restaurant, uh, don't bitch about it and complain about it. Just just let it go. Uh, the, the store's closed. It's not, if, if you went there at midnight and they were closed, you wouldn't think, you know, and get all mad and scream and yell that they're, that they're not open for you, right? Uh, the important thing is to look for what you can do, what you can focus on. And in changing limited beliefs, and changing your beliefs from, from being limited to unlimited 
really comes down to asking yourself the question, what can I do today to improve? What can I do to create uh, something great for myself, something great for my family, something great for, uh, for the world in some way, okay? Uh, Monique, lots of negativity to avoid these days, but staying positive as possible. Absolutely. Uh, and Monique, this is a choice. This is a choice that um, you're being challenged with constantly because when we go to the store, we talk to people and they give us some negativity. If we're choosing to watch the news, hello. Uh, if, uh, um, if, you're, if you're going out into the world, if you go to the gas station, do anything, there's a chance that you're going to see somebody who's going to give you a little influx of something, right? Now, I went to the store yesterday and I saw someone who works at the store. She's always a very nice lady and uh, enjoy seeing her. Uh, but she was, she was consumed by uh, the limitation of what's going on with the virus and everything else. Uh, but it wasn't just that. I could see that the more she talked about it, and I certainly wasn't feeding, I was just trying to observe and not be affected by what she was saying. Uh, she went from talking about uh, the, the virus to immediately talking about her kids uh, being in a river and afraid that they were gonna drown in the river, right? So uh, you see the connection between the negativity of the vibration that she was holding on to Two different, she could have talked about, you know, the Twinkies and aisle six and how they're they're filled with some poison that are going to kill you. It could have been anything, but she was on the same vibration. And it's important for us to observe this, to see that that when people put themselves on the negative vibration, uh, as in, uh, Monique said, if you go into, into town today or tomorrow and you hear somebody say something negative or you listen to something on, negative on the news, it's important to wake up in that moment and not allow your vibration to drop down and connect with that, that information because you'll begin to attract more things in that line. And it's very important to recognize this. You have to keep yourself up. And that's why Jesus said, turn the other cheek. It's about not giving your attention to negativity. There is a lot of negativity in the world, but honestly... There was a lot of negativity in the world before the virus even started. There's negativity going on. There's people trying to blow the planet up all the time, right? In every way, shape, or form, right? You don't need to give your attention to the Taliban. You don't need to give your attention to, you know, the, the some asshole in Australia, you know, or, or whatever it is, right? You have a choice, and you have to make a choice, better choices today. That's right, Kathleen, uh, vibes, baby, is that you want, you want to vibrate positive. Keep in mind, whatever comes at you, you have to learn to parry and deflect, right? And to vibrate uh, something that is going to enhance and expand your life, okay? So uh, if you if you can saturate yourself today and, and watch videos and talk to people and, and, and uh, do anything you can to keep your vibration up, do things that you love today, then you guys are going to be in really good shape for the week, okay? And, and every morning you wanna uh, watch a video or, or listen to uh, something or to, or to meditate or, or uh, stop watching uh, movies where everybody's killing each other every single night. Start, you know, trying to, trying to, uh, to vibrate strong this week, uh, you'll start to see a difference, okay? And you start to change those limiting to believe, beliefs to unlimited beliefs, okay? So have a, have, have a clear destination, as I mentioned. If you haven't uh, succeeded because of limiting beliefs yet, it's simply because you're you're repeating the same old habits, okay? So we got to dig that stuff out, and we got to develop new habits and new mantras, new affirmations that are going to get us uh, going in the direction of the thing that we want, okay? That's what I got for you today on Art Talk. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me today. If this is something you think is of value, I hope that you'll consider sharing it on Facebook. Uh, this is how we get our audience uh, to be able to come in and, and join us. Um, you know, we're, we're not live on uh, on Instagram or Twitter or anywhere else. This is specifically for Facebook. So if you guys uh, do consider sharing it on your pages and people come in and hang out with us, then we can try to you know change the world one uh, one good thought at a time or one cool car at a time, as they say. And we won't have the Matchbox Police, which is that's what it says right there. Can you, can you read that? No, you can't. You can't read that because it's backwards also. And it's like totally out of focus. Uh, but anyway, spend the day uh, trying to uh, develop some strength in the areas of your focus, okay? Uh, change your limiting beliefs. You can. You can and you will and you are. Do it today. All right, guys. Have a great day today. And uh, we will see you next Monday. We do have a vlog coming and a bunch of other stuff happening this week here from Fireball Publishing. So enjoy yourselves. We'll talk to you soon.